Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to scan for and remove all viruses, malware, adware, and spyware from your Windows computer. If you go down to the notes in the video description and click the link for the first scan, it will take you to this website, which is for Malwarebytes, which is a free anti-malware scanner. Go ahead and download and install. On this installation step, click on skip. On this step, also click on skip, maybe later. You do not need to enter an email, just click on continue with free trial. And once you're in, the first thing you want to do is click on the profile icon in the top right, my subscription, deactivate the trial. We just want to use the free version and then go to settings, scan and detections. Make sure all of these are turned on and then dashboard, scan and let it run until it's fully completed. If it finds any results, it will allow you to remove them. Scan number two, also linked in the video description. Go ahead and download it and install it. Once you get into MZSoft, before anything, just make sure that it is up to date. And then once you've done that, click on malware scan and then let it run until it's fully completed. If it finds any results, it will allow you to remove them. Windows does have a built-in virus scanner, which you can access by going to the bottom right system tray. Look for the blue icon and click on it. Go to virus and threat protection. And then before running the scan, scroll down and check for updates. Click on this button. And after you've updated, just go back, scroll up, go to scan options, select full scan, and then go ahead and scan the computer. Now, if you're using a third party antivirus, it's the same concept, same steps, open it up, update it, run a full system scan. Generally speaking, I don't recommend third party antivirus software unless you're running a business where you need a premium security service. But for the average user, just using the built-in antivirus here in Windows in combination with improved education and improvement on user behavior is going to net you much better results rather than looking and searching for an antivirus that can babysit everything that you do. If for whatever reason you want to run a second opinion antivirus scan or just for whatever reason need an alternative, Bitdefender free antivirus is the one I would recommend, but again, only for a second opinion scan or if you absolutely need it. Also, you're going to want to open up all of your web browsers, go to the settings, find where the extensions option is and open it up. And I strongly recommend you remove all extensions if possible. If you have an extension for a password manager, that might be one worth keeping, but by and large, extensions are a huge security problem and they're even bad for privacy. And so removing them will increase privacy and security. And usually there's a better alternative to use rather than installing an extension. If there's an extension you absolutely cannot part ways with, at least flip the switch to turn it off and disable it while it's not in use. The next thing you will want to do is click on the Windows Start button, type in Settings and open up Settings, and then click on Apps on the left-hand side. Click on Installed Apps. This is a list of all the applications on your computer. If you've had problems with viruses and malware and adware, there's a good possibility you installed something bad. You need to go through and scrub this list. Uninstall and remove as much as possible. And keep in mind that the more applications you remove, you're not only increasing security, but you're also improving privacy. Even legitimate programs and applications will spy on you. And so again, scrub this list, uninstall and remove as much as possible. When you find something you're ready to remove, just click on the settings over on the right hand side and click on uninstall. Also, I would note the more applications you remove, the better your computer is going to perform. Also, while you are on this list, be sure to uninstall Malwarebytes. Do not leave it installed on your computer. We're trying to clean out the computer, not add to the clutter. Now, for most of you, if you follow these steps, you run the scans, you remove all the extensions and remove as many applications as you can. Most of you are going to be good to go after those steps, but some of you might still have some problems. And if that's the case, what I would recommend is resetting your computer back to new. I do recommend that you back up your data before doing this. And then once you've done that, you'll just come down here to the Windows Start button and click on it. Type in Reset and click on Reset This PC and then click on Reset PC. You'll have two options. The first one will allow you to keep your files. I would try this first. If you still have problems, try the second option, which will basically do what it says. It removes everything and resetting your PC will wipe out any malware, virus, adware, spyware you have on your operating system. Just be aware if you do have some sort of malicious something on the BIOS, this will not fix those, but those situations are pretty rare. Now I do wanna quickly just touch on some tips that you can do to avoid ending up in this situation again. 
The first thing, as I've kind of already mentioned, is get into the habit of installing less software on your computer. If I say be more careful, well, that just doesn't work because hackers are very, very good at tricking users into installing something bad. Users are not very good at identifying malicious software and your antivirus is not going to catch everything. And so getting into the habit of installing less and only necessary and doing more research before you install something, be as vigilant as possible, and also keep in mind that even legitimate software from legitimate companies can be hijacked. So installing less benefits you. Also make sure that you keep all software up to date. If there's something you're using, whether it's an operating system or an app that no longer receives updates, stop using it. To update your OS, click on the Windows Start button, type in Settings and open up Settings, click on Windows Update, and then you can check for updates. On web browsers, you usually just open up the menu and look for Help and click on About, and then it's going to check for updates. And you can do that on pretty much all web browsers. And it's also recommended to periodically check for updates for your BIOS or firmware, which usually those security updates are mitigating attacks that require physical access. And so while you may not necessarily be a target, it's a good idea to periodically update those anyways. Additional tips, do not use public Wi-Fi. In fact, I would not connect to or use a network that you do not personally manage and pay for. I do not recommend using Bluetooth in public. Be very careful what you plug into your computer, whether it's a USB drive or some other device. Make sure it's something that you personally own and trust. Do not access personal accounts or personal information on devices that you do not personally own. And be very, very careful of links, whether in text messages or emails, can often be malicious. Same with buttons and emails or attachments. In fact, I would just get into the habit of setting up at least a virtual machine to open up emails because again hackers are very very good at tricking users into thinking that the email is benign and safe to click on a link a button or attachment when in fact it's actually malicious consider switching to a new web browser that's built around security and even privacy for example brave which i have down here it's chromium based it feels very similar to google chrome but google chrome does not support ad blocking which if I open up the Brave Shield, it's built in right here natively, and this can help reduce the risk of getting malware and viruses on your computer, and this is something specifically Google Chrome does not want to support. If you are a Firefox user, if you're someone who doesn't want to use something Chromium-based, LibreWolf, Waterfox, Movad, all of these web browsers are linked down in the video notes down in the video description. Consider switching to one of them. Make sure that you encrypt everything. To encrypt your computer, click on the Windows Start button. Type in Control Panel and open up Control Panel. Click on System and Security and then click on Device Encryption to enable BitLocker, which is the built-in encryption option in Windows. Now, if you do not have this option, it's probably due to the version of Windows that you have. As a free alternative, I will link to this tutorial, which is from my channel on how to use Veracrypt, which is for free. Additionally, to encrypt your phone calls and text messages, I recommend Signal. There are alternatives that you can look into as well. To encrypt your email, you can look at ProtonMail. Again, there's alternatives that you can use. And to encrypt your internet traffic, use a VPN such as ProtonVPN, which has a free tier, though I generally recommend only using paid options. And as an alternative, there's iVPN, Movad, or Winscribe, which none of these are sponsored. Make sure that you use strong, unique passwords for everything, which consists of at least 20 to 25 characters, upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Make sure that you enable 2FA on everything. And last, make sure that you use good habits on all your devices, secure all your devices. If you are being secure on one device but not the other, you're not protected. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.